Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. Today I want to talk about the truth about INFJs. And what I've come to realize is INFJs, and this is fascinating, tend to be addicted to the idea of themselves as positive ideals and examples, as people that are trying to do good and uh, to be good for other people. And so when you look at the INFJ and when you look at the why they do things and their intentions, it's very easy to get confused. Because it's not that INFJs embody a positive ideal, an example of goodness for other people because they want to do good for other people. No, the reality is more complex. The truth about INFJs is INFJs seek to embody a positive example for other people, doing good for the world, because it does themselves good. It gives an INFJ energy, purpose, passion, motivation, joy, if they can be this kind of ideal, this example, this positive role model for society. So INFJs don't do it out of selflessness, but in reality out of self-centeredness and selfishness. And there is nothing wrong with that. And the last part is very important. There is nothing wrong with doing something for yourself. There is nothing wrong with doing good for yourself because it feels good. And uh, so um, when you talk about, when you deal with the 9FJ, you have to recognize that what they do for you is as much about themselves as it is about you, perhaps even more. And as an INFJ, it's important to rem remember what you do for other people, what you pour into other people, the energy you invest in others, is for yourself. And understand this and acknowledge this and let this be a part of who you are. And let this be your modus operandi, <laughs> your mode of being, your, who you are. <laughs> what I mean with this is, as an INFJ, if you want to never be used again, you need to constantly remind yourself that everything you do for another person, you do for yourself. If you remember this, you're never gonna feel used by another person ever again in your life. Because you're gonna know that everything you did, fundamentally for every other person you met, was for yourself, first of all. So, you couldn't have been used by other people because you did it for yourself. It wasn't another person that sucked your energy out of your life. There wasn't an energy thief taking everything from you. It was you and you did it for yourself. Now, when you talk about this, and when you think about this, this is harder to practice than it is to preach, you know, because INFJs have sometimes all the wrong reasons for doing all the right things. So, when you are an INFJ, when you are in this position of you want to do good for other people, and you want to be an ideal and a role model, you also have to recognize your needs and your boundaries as you do this. And you have to recognize that if you are trying to make yourself happy by making other people happy, you have to do so in a way that makes you happy. And that means you're not allowed to compromise your own energy and time and your own needs and alone time. And all those things that make you function and feel good about yourself and as a person in order to make other people happy. If you constantly drain your own energy to pour into the cup of other people in order to feel, to fill up your own cup, that's not gonna work. The energy you get by taking from yourself is going to create a void. And that means, is if you're constantly cutting into your own alone time, your own needs, and your own values, and uh, if you're constantly disrespecting yourself, trying to be this ideal, trying to be this role model, or trying to support other people, you're going to feel empty. That means the brief kick, the brief pride, the brief per sense of purpose, uh, the brief joy you feel when you can make another person smile or when you can do something good for the world, is not going to measure up to your long-term unhappiness and dissatisfaction if you achieve this 
by cutting into your own alone time and your own feelings and your own values and your own needs. So while you might feel a briefcake because you did something good, you're also going to feel a tore, a tear, a emptiness, a void because you did so by taking something from yourself. And anything you do by taking from yourself is a, it's a waste of effort. It's a, um, it's a way of disrespecting yourself. It's a way of hurting yourself. And it's not different from, you know, uh, the drug addict that lies in order to get drugs, you know, because in the end what you're doing is you're taking from yourself, you're lying to yourself to give to other people in order to get this brief kick of having done something good or feeling proud of yourself because you did something right. So this is also uh, an example why you can't lie about your finances in order to give generosity to other people. You can't uh, make promises that you can't keep. You can't uh, um, pretend to be something you're not in order to make another person feel validated or understood. You can't cut into your own identity or your own values or give up or compromise what you feel is important in order to validate or verify what other people feel is important. So your energy and everything good you have to do for other people has to come from something else. It has to come from things that you enjoy doing, things that you value, things that are important to you. So you can only make other people <laughs> You become happy by making other people happy, but you can only make other people happy by doing things that you enjoy and that you value and that you find to be important. So it has to come from an INFJ's core passions and you know, whatever it is you enjoy doing, whatever tasks at work that you value and pride yourself on being able to do, whatever things you feel come naturally to you when you're relaxed, when you're feeling good, when you're feeling positive, when you're feeling in a good state of mind. So you have to take active times to meditate. Every day you have to take active time to yourself, to introspect, to be inside yourself, to listen to yourself and to hear your own needs and your own values and to respect yourself. Because this is going to give you the ability to respect and understand other people. And this is going to give you the ability to make other people happy. And this is going to give you happiness. You also have to look at um, fundamentally your introverted intuition. And here's, you know, you have to go into your creative uh, inner nature. You have to go into your own ability to visualize, to dream, to imagine, to work towards a vision or a cause or a future that's important to you. And you have to find your ability to make other people happy while staying on this path. So stay on your path, whatever it is, you know, what you're working towards and help those that you come in contact to along the way. Don't abandon your path in order to make other people happy. It's not going to work. It's not going to make you happy. So to illustrate this point and to uh, really understand what I tend to do is I tend to imagine, imagine if everyone else also was an INFJ. So imagine that everyone else in the world was an INFJ and every other person you met derived their sense of happiness and purpose from making you happy and from being a positive example and a good image to you. And imagine then how blinded you would feel because everyone else is so good and so uh, inspiring and so fully amazing in their ability to constantly uh, inspire you and to make you happy and you're not that good. You're not good enough to do that. You're not able to make them happy. And now imagine this is the feeling of every single other person you meet. That everyone else is so caught up in the light of others and the example that other people are setting and so upset and so burdened by their own inability to meet and live up to this potential themselves. INFJs who are constantly trying to please each other is 
two INFJs t constantly trying to please each other, but none refusing to smile until the other person has smiled first. So, the truth about INFJs is they do things for other people for themselves, and they should do it for themselves, and they should um, do things for themselves in a way that feels sustainable and that verifies and is aligned with their purpose and their vision and their goal in life. And you can make the most impact as an INFJ, you can spread the most happiness by being happy yourself. You can spread the most joy by embodying joy yourself. Think of the guru that has spent years, you know, inside themselves, truly discovering and understanding their purpose and then sharing it with other people. Speaking to such a person makes you feel light because you know you're talking to a person who has uh, overcome deep, deeper trauma to lift themselves up and you feel lifted up by just being in their presence. You want to be that kind of a presence to other people. You want to be that kind of a role model. You don't want to be the role model that exhausts themselves and drives themselves into a depression, constantly spreading this negative energy while constantly, desperately trying to lift everyone else up while you yourself are in the bottom. You want to be the person who has lifted themselves up and who is able to lift other people up by just being.